Hey guys, it's Mike here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another video on Were They Helpful? An entry in this series in which we're going to talk about whether or not a character from Dragon Ball Z was helpful. But before I begin, I'm going to introduce a regular guest. I'm not going to say special this time, because you guys are probably tired of that, and so am I. And his name is... I'm special, but in a short bus kind of way. Uh, <laughs> this is D Geekdom. And before you go any further, all right, before we go any further into this thing, first of all, his name is not Kibito, <laughs> it's Kibito, because the word is based on Su Kibito, which means attendant in Japanese. And yes, it's not Dr. Jiro, it's Dr. Gero. I'm sorry that Funimation lied to you guys <laughs> in 1996. I'm sorry you've been lied to all your life, but his name is Kibito. They also lied to, Blue, to Bruce Falconer to put all this music, you know, later in the series. But, you That's know. That's a whole <laughs> other fucking kettle of worms. <laughs> but, yes, was Kibito, I mean Kibito, helpful in Dragon Ball Z? And that's the question we're going to be answering today. Was the attendant of the Kais? I wonder if each attendant... Actually, that kind of reminds me. I wonder if each attendant, like, or if they had an attendant for each Supreme Kai and all of them were killed too, or if Kibito just used to, like, take care of all of them and now he's just kind of tired of dealing with this one jackass who's very useless. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> That's a good question. I think I think you're right. I think he used to take care of all of them. He was the only one. He was like the Whis for them is kind of how I see it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of weird. Beerus gets his own attendant, and Kibito just had to take care of, like, five assholes. But, you know, anyway, we're going to wonder whether or not he was helpful, whether or not he was kind of useless, and uh, I'm going to let Big D, the guest, start off with that. He was a little bit helpful, but he wasn't very helpful. Um, the, the, his main contribution early on in the series is that he was kind of going along with Kai's plan to... So, so, I don't know about getting Gohan mad, because really, Sipopovich is the one that really got Gohan mad, but he did ask Gohan to transform. Oh, wait, Gohan you said Sipopovich. You mean Spopovich, like the dub says, right? No, Sipopovich. <laughs> Actually, it's Sipopovich. Uh, you know, Samambishi, but yeah, so I don't know. Well, Sapopovich is not that wrong, no. but um, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, except it is Kibito. He looks but like anyway, Ryback. <laughs> Kibito or Sapopovich? Sapopovich. <laughs> yeah, he's about as talented. So there you go. <laughs> um, but no, uh, uh, Kibito uh, tried to get Gohan mad. It worked, and that was all part of the plan, so that Sapopovich and Yamu could take Gohan's energy and go back to um to Bobby so and, and Bobby D another one <laughs> but uh and it is Bobby D because that's the way the narrator says it and I hate to say it but Yoji Yanami knows a lot more about Dragon Ball than any of us because he's been in every episode but let's keep going so Kibito uh has the ability to heal and <laughs> to teleport which I think I think are very useful yeah. uh but they are not used I don't think to the max however they are useful because he gets Gohan to the, the, the Sacred Kai realm so that he can train with the Z-Sword. Um, so there's things that he's done. I mean, there are things that he's done that are useful, but his usefulness is not anything earth-shattering. Um, I don't... Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Kai, Kaioshin, he, he does not know how to teleport, correct? I don't think he does, no. Yeah, so I guess he actually is Tam, bro. He's even more useful than him. Well, yeah, that's actually... It's funny that you said that. I actually think he's way more useful than Supreme Kai was. Like, Supreme Kai, it's, it's funny. In some ways, I feel like Kibito is actually more worthy of being a Kai and being that position than Supreme Kai. Like, Supreme Kai doesn't do much at well, all. Well, Whis, Whis is stronger than Beerus. It seems that the joke with Toriyama is that the attendant is usually stronger than the... I mean, look at Vegeta and Nappa. Remember, that's that old trope, you know, the big guy and the little guy who orders them around. Yeah. They love to do that. I mean, remember Jake Roberts and the Undertaker? Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> but, I mean, the thing is that Kibito, even when they become Kibito Kai, you know, uh, Kibito Shin or whatever they call him um, is more helpful because Kibito is there yeah. than Supreme Kai because Kibito is the one who teleports Supreme, you know, Kaioshin there uh, with the Supreme Kaioshin, you know, uh, the mixture. Um, and that's how they save Gohan. I mean, that's how they save Goku and Vegeta. You know, that's how they can defeat Kid Buu when the planet's getting destroyed. You know, everything pretty much comes down to him. Kibito <laughs> heals Supreme Kai so Supreme Kai can help Gohan to get the Z-Sword and all this other crap out. Kibito heals, you know, everyone. He healed Gohan. He He's the one who teleports everyone everywhere. What the hell does Supreme Kai do? You know what I mean? Like, half the stuff in the Supreme Kai was he helpful video was chalked up to him when they were Kibito Kai. So the thing is, at the end of the day, it just seems like Kibito is just so much better than being the Kai, than Supreme Kai himself. He's just kind of a, you know, whiny asshole who does nothing all day. 
You really don't like him. But what's funny <laughs> is, uh, no, but what's, here's what I want to know. The real question is, does Kibito have a glass eye? Because there is that one. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm showing have, right now, people. Uh, yeah, Because I have the glass eye. I have a glass eye. A lot of people, you know, you and I did a video and I said that it brings a tear to my glass eye. And people now believe that I have a glass <laughs> eye. So you know what? Let's, let's go with it then. I have a glass eye. Just After like Ask FM, they also think you hate all of them. But, you know. <laughs> I, well, I do. I mean, no. I don't hate you. <laughs> no. Uh, Kibito is, uh, he, yeah, he is more useful. He, he, he is more useful than Supreme Kai. I agree. It's really weird, too. But, I mean, I guess that's just how Toriyama liked to write it. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, too, we mentioned GT in the last video, which was what is old Kai helpful, which you could find in the description. And the thing is that in GT, again, there could be no Kai in this case. But the thing is, of course, more of this can be expanded upon Super. You know, he could become even more helpful. And in the Super manga, Supreme Kai and Kibito actually defuse. So it's possible that more stuff is actually going to happen in Super in which he can be even more helpful for. But... Overall, I definitely have to say that I thought he was way more helpful than even Shin himself. Yeah, I, I can't disagree with you. So, uh, this has been another edition of Were They Helpful, in which we were talking about Kibito. It was pretty much open and shut in this case. He was very helpful when he needed to be. But, uh, again, like a lot of these characters, he didn't really influence, you know, the ending. All he really did was get killed by Deborah. But anyway, don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comments section. Tell us what you thought of this video, what you thought of Kibito, and whether or not you thought that he was helpful. Also, don't forget to check out Big D's channel, which will be in the description, and you can see on the screen right now. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, stick around, because there's a lot more to come in the future. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, 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 oh. oh come, come on. on. Do you, it now. You, you got to stop saying that. You're not as muscular as me. I mean, come on. I'm a puny little man. I know. I crush you. Nobody friends. is as big as living Ichigo, though. He's actually on the gas. Now. Nah. <laughs>